Hello YouTube, this is Rascal Dazzle, and today I have another LEGO Lord of the Rings mock for you. And, um, this is a really cool one. It's a bit of a different one for me. And, because I will be destroying this, not like I'm keeping this, I will be destroying it because it's just a mini scene I made. Um, but, let me give you the whole backstory on it. Or first, let me start off by saying that this is the my mock of the battle between Isildur and Sauron. Um, you know, in the backstory part, like the prologue prologue of, um, the, of the Fellowship of the Ring, you know, where it tells you, like, you know, the scene where it's telling you all about the history of the ring, and, you know, with Isildur, and a little back, background knowledge, Isildur is basically, like, Aragorn's great ancestor, you know, he's just, and, um, what happened in the scene was, this was, like, the big, um, remember, all the, all the rings were forged for all the, you know, all the different kinds of races of men and whatnot, and Sauron secretly forged his own ring in Mount Doom that could rule all the rings henceforth. You know, there's the there's the saying, one ring to rule them all, which is the one ring. And basically, what happens is there's this great battle. And I'm pretty sure it was in Mordor, because in the battle you can see Mount Doom in the background. And, you know, in the scene. And um, basically what happened was Sauron came up... Uh, Sauron killed... Um, Isildur's father. He killed his dad, and Isildur was like just kind of laying mourning over his mourning over his body, and um, and Sauron was about to swing his mace and kill Isildur, but then Isildur grabbed his his dad's sword and cut f I think four of four or five of them. I think it was just the four fingers of Sauron off, which one of them holding the ring. So that's when he sees the opportunity took the ring, and even though he should have brought it to Mount Doom and destroyed it forever, um, he kept it, you know, because the ring is a pretty powerful thing, and if he did destroy it, we wouldn't have Lord of the Rings, so, so, that's, that's good. <laughs> but yeah, so he took it, and then I'm pretty sure a couple, and then in the forest, I'm pretty sure there were some orcs there, oh, sorry about that, tripod, <laughs> yeah, basically some orcs, um, ambushed them in the forest, and one of them made him drop, one of them bumped into him and dr made him drop the ring into this lake. And then when he was diving in to get it, a couple of orcs shot him in the back, killing him. And then years later, that's when Gollum found the ring. And then a couple, and then more years later, two more years later is when Bilbo stumbled into Gollum's little cave and took the ring for himself. So, yeah, so that's kind of the whole backstory behind the ring and... This is a great scene, I really do. This is one of the cool scenes in the movies, like, it's the very beginning, too. And, um, like I said, it's just, it's a really small mock, so I figured I'd make it a... So I figured, yeah. So. Oops. Over here. So, let me show you the, the mock first, and then I'll show you the minifigures. Right here, you've got Isildur's dad's helmet. Kind of like, because I couldn't really build, I didn't have the piece to build a minifigure of him, so I just kind of kept his helmet there like a tribute to him or something and then you have a couple patches of grass right over here you've got as you can see Sauron right there with missing a hand holding the ring which is down there as you can see it and then you've also got Isildur my custom I, this mock is all inspired by my idea to make a custom Isildur which I'll show you in just a minute and then you've just got some background battling with a dead orc and then another orc archer if I take all the minifigures out, as you can see, whoops, it's just like a couple patches of rock and whatnot, like the detailing. So, jeez. So yeah, um, seen my custom Sauron before. Yeah, here's the hand that was holding the ring. There's the dead orc, which I think I got. Um, I think I got that orc from. I want to say the orc forge. Then you have the archer, which I got from Attack of the Wargs, the Hobbit set. And then my custom, Isildur, which I just, which I just got done making. Like that, like I said, that's the reason I built this mock, and it's really cool. I took Aragorn's hair and Aragorn's sword. To make this, and he's got Dastin from Prince of Persia's hair, 
Some cool shield. I don't know where I got that one with the red markings on it. It just came in like some bin of Legos I got at a garage sale. And then, you're gonna laugh, but it was the like one of the only torsos I had available. But I just gave him like a Hogwarts torso. But hey, I mean, if you have the armor on, it's covering it up. You can't see it at all. So, I thought it just, I thought it worked fine. And you got black legs. and Yeah, cool minifigure. Um, so yeah, that's it for this mod, guys. I hope you liked it. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep on subscribing.